Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. Welcome back to MSU Talk Podcast with yours truly. So, as you can see, I'm trying a bit hard today wearing all glamorous because I'm at a very special place today. Huh? So I have a question for all of you out there. Okay. Do you make very nice lunch boxes for your family? Hmm. Do you want to know more on the people, everyone involved in a big event on who runs it? Right? Do you enjoy fly, well, flying fox? You know, you like being dirty. You know, being you know, I don't know, out there hiking and all. So look no further because in today's MSU Talk podcast, we'll be talking and you know showcasing our very own School of Hospitality and Creative Arts. So we'll be talking about the entry requirements, all the incredible benefits and all the programs provided here in the School of Hospitality and Creative Arts here in the Management and Science University. So joining me head first in this topic is none other, our Deputy Dean of School of Hospitality and Creative Arts, Ms. Zak Malisa or Miss Lisa. Miss Lisa, how are you? Hi, hi Imran, how are you? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Where are we, yeah, Miss? I'm very okay. excited when you introduce me. Kita nak buat podcast kat mana ni? And then you mm-hmm. say, this place. Where are we? Betul. So, welcome to SNCA, School of Hospitality and Creative Arts. Yes. Okay, so, this is our gallery. Gallery, okay, yeah. Yeah, gallery what, yang menempatkan do... semua collection student-student kami. Okay. okay dan juga asasi kerja mereka lah. Ha. Because the first time when I entered here, macam terkejut lah macam, kita nak shoot dalam ni ke ni Your gallery first time apa kan, ni? Kat sini. Yeah, ah. in this gallery this first time lah because ah uh, this is special because the gallery is actually to be watched from the outside. So this Mm-mm. is dapat duduk dalam ni is a blessing <laughs> lah. Ha. Betul. Miss and Miss, are you excited, ready ke? Of Sama course, ni? I'm so excited. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm ready for this podcast. Thank you so much for inviting me for this session. So I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, guys. So first and foremost. Kita nak tahu lah sikit lah, like, intro mm-hmm. sikit. Mm-hmm. What are the programs here in the SACA? Okay, SACA is actually stand for Hospitality and Creative Arts. Mm-hmm. Okay, so kita terbahagi kepada dua. Hospitality, Creative Arts. Okay. So before that, Imran tahu tak apa maksud dengan hospitality? Saya pun so, nak cakap test. dengan Cik Nizam hari tu. So ah. itu hospital IMS. So ah. saya tengah nak ingat, so ini hospitality in terms of macam... Bermer ha. mesra mesra ah, yes, okay. macam like hotel you know right? markah seratus markah yes <laughs> yeah betul hospitality is adalah layanan mesra okay hospitality ah uh, ramai orang confused dengan hospital tapi sebenarnya kita hospitality so hospitality um, di SCCA kita ada a few program under okay. hospitality uh, such as uh, hospitality and tourism management okay culinary arts uh, pastry artistry event management Outdoor and recreation. Wow. Uh, that's banyak, a kan? lot. Oh, wow, hospitality. Menarik. Okay. okay, untuk creative arts pula, okay, uh, kita ada fashion design. Okay. okay. Boleh nampak koleksi, koleksi fashion design. Kita ada music technology. Music technology. Yeah. Okay. okay. Kita ada juga uh, beauty, beauty, hair, hair dan spa. Beauty, hair and spa. Yes. I complete. Is that one program or separate program? Yeah, programs? separate program. Oh. Yes, diploma oh, okay. and also bachelor level. I see. Mm. Okay. So like, so those are the main programs lah here. Betul. So just to, you know, nak tahu lah juga Mm-mm. apa yang paling popular sekarang. Um, Popular ya demand sekarang lah. Demand Kalau sekarang. hospitality, event management. Oh. Culinary memang kita memang top lah. Memang uh, itu yang dari dulu sampai sekarang memang demand selalu ramai. Tapi sekarang yang demand makin meningkat adalah event. Okay. Dan juga outdoor recreation. Okay. Mm-mm. Oh, event and outdoor recreation. Betul. Untuk creative arts punya side, uh, beauty. Beauty. Hair. Oh, memang itu top demand. Wow. Mm, sekarang lah. Oh, okay, right. tapi before this point memang fashion design, music pun memang banyak demand juga. Understood. So, like macam our, you know, the SPM leavers, SPM mm-hmm. leavers, even other, our friends out there who is wondering if they could enter MSU kan. What are the benefits? Macam apa yang kita nak belajar? Kenapa hospitality and creative arts? Kenapa oh. tak kos lain? Banyak. Okay, banyak benefit ni. Okay. Satu-satu. <laughs> ada banyak masa ke ni? Apa ya? Okay. Alright. Uh, banyak sebenarnya. Pertama sekali, uh, is actually all program offered under SACA mm-hmm. uh, adalah uh, skill base. Skill based. Yes, skill based program. Okay. okay, di mana kita ada combinekan praktikal dan juga teori. 
Understood. So tak ada lama sangat kan uh, So dia akan belajar practical Ada practical classes Pergi industry visit Pergi competition Okay, okay. So we end back together With the theory subject So itulah semua benefits lah Kalau uh. in terms of uh, Alright Sebab very interesting eh Tadi uh, Miss Lisa cakap pasal skill base So that is Everyone out there You guys You know For example Dulu rasa macam Alamak belajar 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 Saya tak, tak boleh lah Kalau full saja Saya nak kena bergerak This is the cost uh, Imran kan, lah, Tapi ada lagi tak benefit oh, dia Ada lagi Ada lagi ah. Okay Let's say You study dekat SCCA Kita okay. provide very Orang kata Enjoy Learning experiences Happening Macam mana tu Macam mana Cuk- Okay kita ada banyak event. event Kita ada banyak event Okay, okay banyak flagship program mm-hmm. Cualan satu je adalah Yang terbaru adalah Madfest Madfest Ah, Pergi tak saya ah. Okay Tahu tu so, apa Madfest tak tahu kan uh, Miss Lisa uh, kena beritahu sikit okay. Lisa So Madfest ni is one of our flagship event for music Yang mana uh, kita uh, buat collaboration with Istana Budaya ah, Okay Very uh, traditional Yes Music, Arts and Culture Convention Oh, hmm. Okay okay Sebab saya ingat kita ada very specific Apa panggil uh, Guesses yang datang kan Betul ah. Kita ada juga professional singer from uh, Japan From Japan Yes, yes. Miss Masukato okay. Yes yes I agree Then I highlight uh, of that day adalah Ernie Zakri juga Yes Tapi most importantly Okay Semua performance tu diiringi oleh pelajar Music kita sendiri oh. Bersama dengan Istana Budaya That's actually Menarik. really nice yes. Because I remember event. In the performance There are two interns of ours Yang intern kat Istana yes. Budaya Yes uh-uh. ah, Nampak lah like. Job opportunity ada di sana So mm-hmm. jangan Jangan malu Mari Mari Ah, okay. Ada satu lagi benefit Ada, ah, lagi. ada lagi ada. Okay. Selain itu juga Saya just nak share okay, We are number 46 In, in the world In okay, the world For hospitality okay. and leisure Alright Okay uh, Number 5 in Malaysia For hospitality and leisure Subject Ranking And Top 1 Top one. Cuba teka top one tu untuk yang mana satu. Uh, okay, just now was leisure and hospitality. Saya so, bagi hint dekat sini. Our fashion design. Yes, mm-hmm. art and design for fashion. Nah, mm-hmm. top In Malaysia. I am so proud of our students and all our staff about this. Really, number one. Yes. Okay, so no wonder eh? mm. everything that comes out if I'm seeing here right here in this studio is actually magnificent. So if you are very interested, all right, in fashion design, you know, just drop in and since Miss tadi cakap mm-hmm. pasal all these courses that, is there any entry requirement yang specific about them or ke macam as long as they have specific credits ke enough okay uh, the most importantly is uh, for general eh? mm. okay five credit okay, okay five, five credits credit subject and for certain program dia ada uh, special requirement for example fashion design kena buat um, color test I see. Okay, lulus it, color test. Is it like seeing colors? Yes, betul. Okay. Okay, color blind test and also drawing test. And drawing test. Then one test. is a entire requirement for fashion design. But for music technology, uh, dia pun ada uh, kena at least main satu instrument lah. Yang boleh uh, main satu instrument. Mm. Okay. What Other than that, five credits. And also patient. As long as you have patient, masuk je mana-mana program. Passion lah Tak ada boleh. masalah Kan ha, okay. Kalau ada passion tu Boleh Passion ada cara come dia. first ha, ha. So And then those, skill knowledge Come later But hmm. what happens If they are Students from Outside mm-hmm. of, I mean, For example They did diploma In a different Is there any Exemptions and such yeah, Of them? course ada Yes No problem Yes no problem ah, okay, Do you have any dapat. instances From other Any past students That you can recall That have uh, done so For fashion design We also have um, Students from KV Okay uh, Polytechnic Okay mm-hmm. And other institution as well Even ada juga Jangan terkejut Yang terbaru ni Kita ada Student progression From medical I'm sorry Macam mana Medical student Okay Diploma Progress to fashion design Oh dia ah. dari, Dia daripada Medical diploma And then dia Progress ke Bachelor yes. in fashion design Yes Oh Dia ada, ada Who is this student Ah, huh? Who is this student I'm very curious lah. Oh. Uh, nanti kita jumpa lepas ni. Wow. Set appointment lah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> very curious lah. So, Tempat interview lain. Dia joy, dia memang ni. Eh, yes, passion. because of passion. Ada juga uh, student from beauty. Beauty. Okay, progress okay. to fashion. Progress to fashion. Okay, oh. even before this, uh, medical student progress to outdoor uh, outdoor leisure. Understood. Okay, outdoor recreation. So, ada banyak lah. You've mentioned this twice already. I'm Mm-mm. very curious. Mm-hmm. What is the difference between event management and outdoor 
uh, management tadi? Outdoor recreation. Outdoor recreation. Okay, a good question. Okay, event management adalah uh, we prepare student to become an event managers. Okay. okay, for bachelor level. Okay, event operator. Okay, they work back of the house. Okay, to manage event. Contoh kan yang terbaru ni konsert. Pergi tak yeah. konsert? Konsert apa yang terbaru ni? Uh, konsert apa pergi Yang viral tu. Mana satu lah. <laughs> Ada banyak konsert viral. Betul. Okay. So, back of the house is basically event lah. Mm-hmm. Event student. Okay. Uh, event operator. Event managers. Okay. Uh, untuk uh, outdoor recreation, dia banyak lebih kepada uh, recreation. Oh, so, kalau macam for example, what is the job opportunity for them? Huh? Maksudnya macam when they go up, macam when you say event management, mm-hmm. they become mm-hmm. event managers, event become planner. operatives, planners, yes. kan? maybe wedding planner. That's Then also example, entrepreneur. Like. And boleh buka yes oh. buka own company so what if outdoor what is their title when they go out diorang pun boleh jadi entrepreneur ok they, they also can open their own company dan diorang boleh juga jadi um, apa ni trainers ah. yes trainers if let's say they complete um, any um, professional training macam kat sini diorang ada scuba driving training scuba yes ok ya yeah, betul oh. ok so diorang boleh bila diorang complete a certain levels of certi- uh, certification then they can can uh, become a trainers you know, there are many job opportunities out there if you are very interested in event management and outdoor recreation management right Mm-mm. so what is there available for our other other courses and programs what is there you know future we, career like we okay yang sekarang e demand i can say a program spa beauty hair okay, okay. we have a diploma in spa management diploma in spa okay. management uh, diploma in beauty management diploma in beauty management uh, yes okay. and then we also have a bachelor in spa management uh, bachelor in uh, beauty and hair management beauty and hair what yes. are the okay what is the difference between a diploma in beauty and diploma in spa bukan uh, benda sama ke tu dia sebenarnya kalau spa is more on massage lah body treatment semua okay, tu that is okay uh, spa spa okay. okay if let's say for beauty lebih kepada beauty yang makeup makeup uh, ah. macam tu lah professional grooming so in their terms of uh, career wise apa yang after that jadi mm, they can dia orang boleh jadi um, owner okay owner. yes spa owner okay uh, they also can um, work as a therapist a therapist yes oh. magician Boleh juga. Oh, okay. Do any of our students uh, have? Any, do you recall any of mm-hmm. our students yang dah very out there in in this course? Mm, ramai juga is actually memang ramai juga yang sekarang ni even some of them also open their own spa. Mm-hmm. Okay, they start small, tapi anamila. Okay, they manage to open their own spa. I see. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about a bit about our friends here in culinary arts mm. uh, because I remember that you said culinary arts was very number one before and still like very top now Mm-mm. so where do our students go usually after they finish their culinary arts experience here for culinary they can go either internal uh, local or international okay oh, right. so for local uh, most of them they can go to four and five star hotel four and okay. five stars hotel and then some of them also can open their own business Okay, uh, tapi most of our students also they choose to work abroad. They choose to work abroad. Yes. Okay, maksudnya okay. kerja luar negara lah. Yes, okay. okay. Uh, ada jadi chef dekat overseas. Um, example, kita punya alumni, okay. Ada yang kerja dekat Europe, Australia, Singapore. Wow. Okay, even uh, some of our students also currently working dekat uh, Qatar. Qatar, okay. As a okay. chef, yes. Wow. We have... A lot of reputable alumni out there. Yes, there's a lot of other countries. Yeah, but mana then, alumni alumni? Oh, <laughs> hello, hello, <laughs> uh, welcome. Uh, so I'm not sure where you are now in out there. So thank you, ah, uh, thank you, ah. Uh. Oh, <laughs> kat luar negara guys, kat luar. Yes. Oh, what is very curious lah kita tak payah pergi yang jauh-jauh sana mm-hmm. I'm very sure kita pergi yang saya tanya dekat je mm-hmm. yang Singapore tu mm, itu paling ramai <laughs> Gaji berapa? Ah, oh, itu gaji. Okay lah, you kira lah kan? Okay, okay, saya kira. Kalau minimum, basic, minimum, ah, basic, basic dia three thousand sing dollar. Ringgit. Yes, sing dollar. Yes, kira lah sendiri. Berapa tu? Ah, ah. Sepuluh ribu. Oh yes. Oh, it's actually a minimum. Okay, minimum. That's why yeah. That's why we always encourage our student, okay, to 
Not even study lah Tapi kerja dekat Luar negara hmm. See but because For those for Those of them Who are going out there kan, mm-hmm. Are they ready for the Macam like To do their cuisine Ke When they go there They also kick They cook Asian cuisine Ke macam mana uh, They are ready Because In their subject is actually We prepare All of the student With all the cuisine Okay they learn about Asian cuisine International cuisine Malay cuisine uh. ah, So it's very holistic So Betul. even if you are learning here In MSU We also learn Mm-mm. other cuisines as well right? Betul oh. Itu baru culinary Belum pastry artistry Pest- oh, yeah, Also one of our Is that a bachelor or a diploma? Uh, we, also, we have both We have both Diploma oh, okay. and also bachelor in pastry artistry Pastry artistry So yes. basically inilah Roti Cake Yeah Cake, cake, semua. cake semua tu Okay wow. uh, And very special um, BPTS program Okay hmm. Kita punya short form lah uh, Dekat MSU ni Okay Kita ada ajar uh, Traditional Kuih muih Kuih muih Kuih muih Melayu Traditional Kuih muih Melayu Yes Oh Mulut pula Oh Mulut pula. Macam tu eh ah. <laughs> Okay Kuih muih Melayu ni Yang tak banyak sebenarnya Yang ajar Okay. Yes. Alhamdulillah lah Sebenarnya kita ada uh, Value tu Mereka belajar dekat sini so, Supaya orang boleh Teruskan tradisi kita Understood yes. That's actually very important mm. Yeah everyone Having that cultural essence Within not to forget Where we belong You know where we came from You know right oh, Tapi selamat lah Tak ada kuih-kuih kat sini okay. Kalau Sebab Saya rasa kalau Miss Lisa tanya saya Saya pun Tak boleh differentiate nanti okay. Saya hijau semua ni Ni tu saya Sama lah kita <laughs> Okay, Ima, Ima nak tahu tak? Uh, okay. One, uh, orang kata interesting fact mm-hmm. Okay, about uh, pastry program Tahu tak gaji pastry chef Is higher than a normal chef Chef biasa Wait, wait, okay, okay, okay Just now, you said If our student who works in Singapore Dapat mm-hmm. gaji sepuluh mm-hmm. ribu Betul. So now you are saying mm-hmm. A pastry graduate would have more than that Yes Because of the skills Diorang ada special technique and skill And orang belajar oh. Yeah Itu oh. yang menarik tu Oh that's interesting Yes Our students actually prefer Being a pastry for Where do they work uh, actually, Apart from the ones That open their own bakeries mm-hmm. Okay mm-hmm. Where do they go Hotel Mostly in hotel Mostly in hotel Four and five star hotel Five star lah Usually five star hotels mm-hmm. Would provide mm-hmm. services For pastry Yes yeah. Dude Okay because I'm very sure of those who are Because all If I've noticed The pattern What you mentioned mm-hmm. all I'm sure all the Subjects and programs Provided Entrepreneurship classes Yes correct know? For because, all of our Diploma and also Bachelor programs I see So mm. no wonder Most of our students Or especially in the uh, School of Hospital And Creative Arts Became entrepreneurs so Like yes, they open, open Their own bakeries Open Betul. their own shops yeah. ah, So out there That's if why I mentioned just now They still can survive During COVID-19 Alhamdulillah ah. That's good That's good to hear That's okay. good to hear So those out there Alright Okay If you like This is very interesting, right? So if you like, feel like, okay, saya dah belajar, saya dah habis all this program for three years. Okay, I don't feel like working for other people. I want to be the boss. Look no further. Okay, there is that opportunity. Learn, absorb as many as you can. Tengok ideas dari kawan-kawan, all your colleagues here. Yeah? Very interesting here in the School of Hospitality and Creative Arts. Be inspired and then come back and then open a business. For those of you who are out there as already open a business, already a baker, Why not learn more? You know, we never know. You know, ilmu ni everywhere ada betul, kan? Betul tak? Betul. Uh, so, just come by. All right? So, on to the next question. Mm. We were talking about international experiences, mm. right? So, those are the ones that working kan? Tu yang nak kerja. Betul. Bila dia orang student tu, ada tak opportunity tu? Ada the example course. you can give? Of course. Uh, we also encourage our student to join all mobility programs under MSU. Um, and we also... Actively, okay, engage with the student uh, to join this program, um, GMP mobility uh, program, uh, leadership programs, and also internship program. Okay, for leadership program, it is a compulsory for all bachelor students, okay, to undergo that program. Oh, it's compulsory. A compulsory yes, okay. So banyak lah dah pergi rasanya Turkey, Korea, oh. mana lagi Taiwan. Okay. okay. Uh, for example, I can share for hospitality and tourism students. Okay. So dia orang pergi ke Korea to learn about the culture, about the history of Korea, and uh, macam the latest one adalah culinary. Okay. And they went to Taiwan. Okay. They learn about Taiwan cuisine. Okay. And okay. compare with our cuisine. 
Okay, oh. so dia ada study lah kat situ. Okay. Same goes to fashion design. Okay, fashion, fashion design. Where do they go? I'm very uh, interested. Japan. Japan. Okay, because we have a very close collaboration with Ueda College of Fashion. Ah. So, every year. So, we will participate in their fashion show. Uh, their fashion show? Yeah. So, we send our students there for their fashion show? Or uh, we yeah, just... betul. Kita oh. send our student. I see. Every year. Dah, dah 6 tahun rasanya. So every year oh. dia akan pergi ke sana lah. Wow. Do they actually, because we have a collaboration with the Yuda mm-hmm. you know, Fashion. Eh? Do they actually send their, you know, yes. staff uh, or lecturers? Upcoming November ni kita akan ada. Oh. Uh, itu nanti kita akan share lah. Wow. <laughs> yes. So stay tuned. If those of you still have time, November, isn't it? Yes. Ah, Ada time lagi kalau nak masuk belajar di MSU in fashion. Yes. Diploma in fashion ada? Bachelor in fashion ada? Yes, bachelor in fashion design with marketing. I see. Uh, There so you go. I was talking about the value. Value. Yes, marketing. Uh, all right. So, now that's very interesting. So, they have, oh, Japan is for fashion. Mm-mm. What about our students for event management? Where do where do they like to go? Even Indonesia, Korea, Korea, uh, Turkey, uh-huh. okay, and some of those, uh, some of them also prefer to go to uh, Europe, okay, Europe. for global mobility program. I see. Uh-huh. All right. So as you can see, lots of countries. Yeah, kita nak pergi mana mana pun ada. So just for the, just for your information, there are three types of uh, mobilities programs, a uh, global programs here in Management Science University. Number one is global mobility program, basically where you go for a semester and more, right? Number two is global leadership programs where you go by a week or a two for learning experience over there. And the third and last but not least is the global internship program, GIP. So those are the three global programs that are here in Management and Science University for your information, all right? So, Miss, can we jump to the next question? Okay. I'm very excited about the next question. It's because it says here, I have to ask, what are the interests or characteristics? Basically, I want to know, student-student yang masuk SACA ni, gaya dia macam mana? Dia ni jenis-jenis macam mana ni, orang-orang ni? Happening. Happening, itu yes, number one. Eh? Yes, orang mesti one happening. happening. Um... Happy go lucky. <laughs> Happy go lucky. So ini jenis kat sekolah ni. We are service provider. Hmm. Okay, we provide service and of course, um, first thing first kita akan ajar student hospitality lah. Okay, uh, same goes to creative arts. Okay, even though they're on creative arts, music student, they're on to the back of the house. Still, kita akan uh, pastikan we have to make sure that the student um, orang kata apa ni. Uh, happening okay dia boleh entertain clients sebab nanti bila dia orang bekerja itulah yang dia orang kena buat understood uh, oh, oh nampaklah di situnya kena happening ini semua yang jenis yang bukanlah ah, bukanlah, <laughs> bukanlah bukanlah jenis yang budak-budak sikit-sikit healing ni ke, ke uh, ada juga healing ada juga oh, healing pun ada juga outdoor kan? recreation Oh, ada orang sikit-sikit oh, Nah lagi. healing kita naik atas nanti apa? Level 16 Kita ada apa di atas? Ada spa Kita ada spa lab Okay Kita ada hair salon Hair salon di sini juga? Ya yeah, betul Wah eh Then, saya dah lama lah tak buat rambut Yes saya boleh Nanti lapan. kita set appointment Yes thank you very much <laughs> Special package Yes So boleh lah letak timun semua kan <laughs> And then kita ada hair salon Ada buat-buat colour rambut Okay ah. uh, Hair colouring Semua tu lah Okay. Hair treatment It Banyak program kita Oh Mm-mm. So literally ada Spa yang saya, saya, Sebab saya I did some reading lah Mm-mm. Macam apa beza Ada dry dengan wet spa Okay uh, Kalau wet spa Is mostly yang dia masuk Ke dalam jacuzzi Masuk dalam tap, tap Oh itulah sikit Yang yes. tu saya nak book Saya nak letak uh, timun Saya nak relax Yang tu tu healing lah <laughs> Pasang lagu sikit Oh okay. bestnya Then dry? Uh, dry spa Okay uh, Medicure, pedi, semua tu lah. Oh, okay. yeah. uh, dia akan ada body treatment yang melibatkan yang tidak ada air. Macam tu lah. Understood. understood. Mm. Okay. So tak nak tanya hair salon? Hair salon kita macam mana? Ah, Sebab saya ni. Hair lah. Ah. <laughs> yang melibatkan hair lah. Yang cutting, okay, coloring, uh, treatment. Uh, semua yang melibatkan. Understood. understood. Or, uh, that kind of service. Wow. Okay. So okay. kita ada so, banyak lah. So kita ada lah. complete lah uh, equipment yang diperlukan uh, untuk semua program uh, spa, beauty and hair. Okay. Mm. So two more questions tak, tak nak tanya music ke music ok what is kat atas pun ada music dekat atas juga yes okay. kita ada music studio ni semua? Okay, kita ada uh, one one area tu memang uh, untuk beauty spa hair okay. and another area is for music studio I see it's a music studio yes. itself yes so Ooh. kita ada uh, we have a latest technology okay, so those are basically where our students actually learn and you know feel their practical experience for betul, the music betul oh. setting dia sama macam kat industri uh, ada recording room 
I see. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's now that's fun. So, or if I knew I have asked you, kita book sana lah. Kita okay. bercakap kat music studio. Uh, next session, please. Uh, next session. Okay. Uh, 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 Mr. Director. Yes, book. Next one. Okay, okay. Kita Thank set you. timing okay. siap-siap eh. Alright. Ha, okay. So, next question, Miss. Mm-hmm. Ha. Sebab tadi kita dah tanya sikit. Tapi saya nak tahu, what is the top? Kalau di HACCA, mm-hmm. kan, very curious. What is the highest paying job? Kalau kita keluar di sini. Um, this of the programs here provided. Depends on if Kalau uh, recorded lah Recorded by our student Yang you Based on you know Ada tak anyone Kalau hospitality Kita boleh katakan Kalau dekat Malaysia Adalah culinary uh-huh. And also hospitality Okay Chef Okay because We have a Few levels of chef Okay, okay. Chef dia adalah Dia punya level chef Dia sous chef Demi chef Semua chef dia tu So kalau dia orang um, Betul-betul naik tangga tu Culinary boleh lah And uh, Same goes to Hospitality Okay General manager I see Gaji GMs. dia banyak Really? Yeah Okay Ooh. So uh, Tapi dia kena Step the ladder Okay Understood Yeah So Remember That's the key word here eh? Ladies and gentlemen Step ladder So Kalau nak naik atas GM tu Kena start di bawah So where better yet To start If not here in MSU. Ah, betul. Gitulah, betul tak? Ah, oh. Terror ni. So last question. Last question. Eh tak Is... nak tanya. Jom sebelum last question What? tu. Yang um, itu untuk beauty, uh, untuk hospitality. Ya yeah, betul. Untuk creative arts. Creative arts. Okay Imran tahu tak. Okay dekat overseas. Okay. okay dekat overseas. Most um, high paying job adalah. Okay. Okay. Alright I'm ready. Beauty, spa and I'm hair. Sure. Wait, you tahu tak spa? Hairdresser dia bayar berapa Cuba teka Cuba teka Okay So this is Bagi soalan juga kat sini okay, Bagi soalan kita lah. je Saya rasa saya, saya ingat dah habis belajar dah saya <laughs> Aduh tak. Okay So like alright So beauty management Kat luar negara Can Yes I, Negara Europe Okay Europe So they use apa lah Okay tak apa saya Convert terus lah Guna ha. ringgit terus ha. Saya convert ha, terus, terus. Okay. 10 ribu Sikit Sikit 20 to 30 20 to 30 Yes Oof. That's why Okay Most of our students Sekarang For creative arts Is actually Came from International I see yeah. So they're so international demand, students Yes Demand oh. to think I see hmm. Oh Kalau okay OC, Yes So when they go there So like the, our international students Come here to study lah Yes To get the skills Okay To get the experience mm. Sebab Program um, um, Beauty and hair ni Tak semua tempat Offer Okay So Bila dekat Malaysia uh, Dia orang memang akan study kat sini And then Dia orang akan kerja balik Dekat negara dia orang So it's actually Banyak yang dia orang akan boleh dapat Understood uh, is it It's be- most demand It's actually mm. Is there high paying Because of their work With a singular person Macam model tu mm. juga Atau macam dekat industri uh, Dia orang dekat industri It's depend on the industry And some of them also have uh, Their own client ah. uh, Because of Beauty Hair Spa ni It's all about service When you provide a good service Then people will remember you Orang akan ingat uh, Saya pun kalau pergi spa kan Kita nak boleh dapatkan orang yang sama ni okay, Kita prefer betul, macam tu Betul Because tak? they prefer Betul yeah. tak? Understood. So Miss hmm. Right now we are, Kita nak pergi ke segmen kita Special actually okay. Here in MSG Top Podcast Kita akan ada satu segmen mm-hmm. Where kita baca soalan-soalan Daripada okay. social media platform Menarik. kita okay. So we have also one more question If you have any other questions Later on About our future programs Just drop in the comment And then we'll answer them Okay so Questions now for the School of Hospitality And Creative Arts Miss mm-hmm. Let's see Question number one Nervous pula rasa uh, see? <laughs> So bukan saya seorang ya Soalan pun tanya uh, Soalan uh. tu dia tanya Pasal gaji tadi Kita uh. nak jawab dah Jawab dah Out gaji. there So those are the Those are the You know high paying jobs And others lah uh, Dah terjawab dah Okay so next question Dia tanya Miss Kita tanya uh. Kalau saya tengah bekerja Boleh ke saya mengambil Ambil khusus uh, oh. Bachelor in Fashion Design ini. Of course boleh sangat oh, Okay boleh. Um, Because in MSU We have a uh, Modes Okay Modes uh, Modes okay. of learning Blended learning uh, Full time we can uh, MC Micro credentials And also APEL APEL okay. A and APEL C Can can you elaborate a bit okay. semua ni? For semua ni blended next. learning, uh, essentially uh, biar dia orang datang uh, satu kali sebulan sahaja. Okay, it's more flexible. For full time weekend, okay, uh, durationnya uh, dia orang kiranya akan belajar weekend. Okay, Sabtu dan Ahad. 
Okay But we also can arrange uh, Dia punya masa lah Masa belajar lah Micro credential Is a certificate, uh, certificate base Okay Accredited by MQA Yang mana Dia boleh belajar Setiap program And get the certificate Then the best part is They can combine All the certificate Then boleh progress Ke diploma Ataupun bachelor Oh uh, I think it's wrong not to For example uh, Imran berminat nak ambil Certificate uh, One subject in sp- Mm, spa lah spa ok yes. lah spa treatment for example Betul. ok nak nah, terus berminat kan ok ambil MC ok so Imran ambil MC then if let's say Imran nak sambung ke uh, bachelor in spa then Imran boleh je uh, convert kan settle lah cimak masa oh, and then the last one tadi the last one is apel uh, apel dia divided into two apel A and apel C apel A ni adalah admission yang mana kena ambil uh, certain test for subject and then apel C is a credit okay yang mana dia boleh convert certificate ataupun experience dia kepada kredit so, Apel A tu akan Kita boleh identify lah Lepas dia, dia Lepas lulus test Identify either Dia boleh progress Dia boleh masuk Diploma Ataupun bachelor level Dia terus skip ha, Macam tu So banyak option Sebenarnya For working adult So if let's say You are interested To join Then you also want to work At the same time Jangan risau Okay We have a few uh, Option For you to choose Then boleh je pilih Okay Yang mana yang Yang boleh suit Dengan you punya Working ni lah Alright, so for those out there, if you are working right now and dah tengah bekerja tapi still nak 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 improve lagi kan, nak belajar lagi, nak rasa macam ada formal sikit education, yeah, we have other lots of modes, okay, out there, alright. Mm-hmm. So, last question, so okay. because we're running out of time, mm-hmm. so, uh, last question. Dia tanya, okay, so for, oh, our next question very interesting. Dia mm. tanya pasal spa lagi. Eh, hey, uh, I like lah the online ni dengan saya memang very sing lah hari ni saya suka ah, dia tanya pasal spa hmm. so like what are the uh, can you tell big oh, saya nak tahu lebih detail tentang spa and hair management macam hmm. mana tu dia punya detail macam mana tu pengajaran kelas dia pelajaran kelas dia pengajaran kelas I, I think it's asking more about the syllabus kot ya yeah, pra- kita ada practical and also theory okay um, practical uh, dia akan belajar lebih kepada dia punya program okay for example spa okay uh, body spa semua itulah ok uh, tapi yang teori punya part is more on macam accounting management ah. ok yang mana yang orang perlu untuk um, if let's say they want to open their own business ok they still need the teori part yang dia belajar dekat sini uh, macam itulah understood because mm-hmm. you say that this is worse in demand mm-hmm. so uh, just curious juga so our you know our lecturers and staff are Are they like very, very, you know... Uh, experience. I okay, see. they are very uh, experienced. Okay, since that most of them is actually from industry. Oh, Ramai dari industry. So, jangan risau. Okay, diorang sangat skillful. Okay, uh, dan um, diorang setiap lecturer, diorang ada teknik-teknik yang tertentu. Okay, so for example, for hair, okay, we have a specialized hair lecturers, okay, yang memang ada uh, experience in the uh, from the industry. Then same goes to beauty and also uh, spa. Uh, ah, so technicality and specialty, okay. Ha, so if everyone, if you really want to learn about learn more about it, right? So like that's actually a very good way to, you know, know that we are qualified. They are all qualified, and we can teach you in one way or another okay Betul. now that's very interesting okay so tadi kan miss kan kita kan ada cakap pasal outdoor recreation kan so mm-hmm. ter, saya ter, ternampak terglimpse soalan tu saya nak selit satu lagi soalan mm-hmm. miss boleh <laughs> dia tanya pasal outdoor okay mm-hmm. dia tanya saya suka outdoor activity tapi saya takut air boleh ke saya wajib ke ambil lesen diving macam <laughs> mana tu kalau tanya saya yes because we also, kita ada swimming course okay before they go for the uh, life saving uh, course still dia orang kena ada kena masuk air lah okay but don't worry if let's say dia minat kepada outdoor uh, kita ada satu program baru diploma oh. sport management Diploma in Sport Management Yes yeah, DSP oh. So maybe If let's say Dia tak minat dengan air Mungkin dia boleh Join Android For Diploma Sport Management I see mm, Still oh, ada right. juga Recreation Ada juga Tapi dia tak adalah Macam swimming Semua tu ha, So there you go For the one yang Abang yang takut tadi Atau kakak yang takut tadi Yang oh, air janganlah tu Janganlah risau ha. Kita Kita oh. akan ajar Daripada takut air Tak takut air oh. Kita ada swimming pool Kat atas ni 
Ada jangan risau. Jap. <laughs> so specialnya tingkat atas ni. Ya, yeah, dekat spa, level 16. Ada has saloon, ada yeah. music, ada tu apa tadi ada? Swimming. Swimming pool. Yes. How big is that? Bus yes. Everything. Yeah. Datang lah, datang je. Okay, uh, ah. director next scene dalam pool. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So 